Hello, Williamson County. I'm Carrie Hudson, and welcome to It's About You, an informational program about the classes, activities, and special events offered by the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. Well, we are experiencing the perfect fall season here in Williamson County, and there's no better time of year to visit one of our beloved locations, Timberland Park. The natural beauty of this passive park, located off the Natchez Trace Parkway, is truly showcased this time of year and something that you do not want to miss. Today we're going to spend some time talking about Timberland and some of its upcoming fall and winter programs, as well as our ever popular group fitness program and some of the exciting classes and new offerings they have coming up. Joining me for the first half of our show today is Timberland Park Supervisor, Michael Colbreth. Michael, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You are officially in season. Thank goodness. Yeah. I feel like once the <laughs> fall arrives here in Williamson County, um, Timberland Park really becomes a destination spot for, for people. Sure. Um, just the natural beauty of the park is highlighted this time of year, mm -hmm. and there's something special when you visit Timberland Park in the fall. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's totally true. Um, because the leaves are just now starting to turn, just just a little bit, and so in the next, I'm gonna guess week and a half to two weeks will be kind of our peak season or so. Um, but uh, but yeah, either way, it just it's just beautiful out there this time of year, yeah. and a fun place to be. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about Timberland Park. Uh, this park's been open since October 2014. I can't believe we're coming up on our fourth anniversary right. for the park. Right. Um, and the park has thousands of visitors mm -hmm. that come to it every month. Right. Um, but there are still some people who are still <laughs> learning about and experiencing Timberland Park for the first time. Mm -hmm. For individuals who may not be familiar with this jewel, tell us a little bit about Timberland Park. Sure. Uh, so basically Timberland Park uh, is our Rough for now, our only natural area in Williamson County Parks and Rec. Uh, we're located off of the Natchez Trace Parkway. Um, so if you go west of Franklin a few miles, you can get on the Natchez Trace, go a mile south from there, and that's where we're at. Um, so you can kind of, you know, do two things at once. You can visit a national park, the Natchez Trace, and then visit us as well, all on the same trip. Um, we're a 72 acre uh, natural area. Um, we have hiking trails, uh, we have a butterfly garden, although this time of year it's really starting to fade away quickly. Yes. But we do still have some flowers that are blooming and we've had, um, like last week for instance, we had a number of monarchs, which I guess they're heading on their migration back mm -hmm. south, so that was really fun to watch. Um, <clears throat> but uh, anyway, so yeah, we've, that's just kind of the gist of it. Um, you know, hiking trails and that sort of thing. I think, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, a great little park that's open seven days a week, yep. um, Monday through Sunday. Um, you are getting ready to have a change in your operating hours yeah. though for the fall and winter season. Uh, through November 3rd, Timberland Park is open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. every day of the week. After the third, uh, you'll revert to your fall winter schedule and operating hours just change by a couple of hours. The park yeah. still opens at 9 a.m. every morning mm -hmm. but closes at 4 p.m in the afternoons. Right, that Sunday's the this when the time change mm -hmm. happens, so we change with it. But, well, basically when you lose the light at Timberland Park, <laughs> you're, you're pretty much done there. Right. <laughs> um, and one of the things behind that too is because it is a natural area, there mm -hmm. is no external lighting no. on site, mm -hmm. um, and the interpretive center that's at Timberland Park is completely um, solar powered. Yeah, you're and right. And so even the internal operations become difficult after a certain amount of time. <laughs> right, exactly right. Mm -hmm. um, but the park is free. It's open to the public. Again, open seven days a week. Um, a wonderful place to, to visit this time of year or really any time of year. So we hope you'll come out and join us at Timberland Park. Oh, yeah. Um, if, if you're you know wanting to just do something on your own and come out and take a walk, please feel free to visit us anytime. Mm -hmm. But Michael, you've got a lot of upcoming programs that you're going to be hosting at Timberland Park yeah. um, to um, help introduce people to the park, to right. some of the trails there, right, and some right. of the natural types of programs mm -hmm. um, uh, that can further educate people about natural resources and yes. uh, yeah. the, an the animals and things like that that um, inhabit this part of the area. Yeah, that's, that's the big part of what I'd like to do out there because um, anyone can go and visit a park. 
but to really understand why these places matter, it's good to you know do these kind of programs that really teach people and help them form a connection with the place. So absolutely, yeah. well, we'll start off talking with about your um, November programs. Sure, um, you've got a jam-packed weekend coming up the second weekend in November and have an activity on both Friday November the 9th and Saturday November the 10th. Um, tell us what you have planned for the second weekend in November. Okay so um, basically on Friday the 9th we're going to start out with a guided hike uh, and it'll be you know probably one of our easier hikes. It'll be between a mile, a mile and a half, something like that. Um, It'll be appropriate for pretty much all ages, you know. Uh, it'll be some hills, that kind of thing, but nothing too serious, which we do have some serious hills at Timberland. There are some strenuous <laughs> yeah. walks through yeah. Timberland. If it's, you want to do it, yes, that's available absolutely. to you. Absolutely. Um, but we also have a number of trails that you don't have to, you know, really hoof it to, to do it. Tackle you know? the natural topography right. of Williamson County. Right. <laughs> um, so, uh, so on the 9th uh, that Friday, we're going to have... Uh, our guided hike and along the way I'll point out just you know different plants uh, and the animals we see we'll talk about just the nature of the park in general um, just kind of whatever we see that's what we'll talk about yeah. and you know answer people's questions along the way that sort of thing explain some of the history of the park because there is a pretty rich history uh, uh, within the park itself um, so that'll be on Friday and then the following day uh, we'll be doing a mammal pelts presentation, which what that is is basically we have a number of animal skins with the fur still intact, um, and uh, you know, we have a wide range of animals, you know, ranging from a deer to a coyote, amongst others. I don't want to tell y'all what exactly we have that way. So, it'll be something so you'll else. come to the mammal pelts. Exactly. Yeah. But if you've ever wanted to act, you know, touch these animals and do it in a safe way this is a good opportunity to, to do, do so. Mm -hmm. And it's a wonderful chance to bring kids out to the park. Oh, yeah. So we're doing this Mammal Pelts presentation on Saturday, November the 10th. Mm -hmm. It's from 2 to 2.45 p.m. Yep. It's fun. It's educational. And then mm -hmm. after the program, take advantage of Timberland Park, you know, yeah. and go on a, a, a walk through one of our trails. It's a really fun way to spend time in the park, especially with kids. Exactly. Right. Awesome. Um, both of these events are free, but you mm -hmm. do ask for people to register online prior to attending just so we can properly prepare for a crowd. Or right, something like especially with the hike, just because there is kind of a maximum number of people that I like to take because you get too many people, then the people way in the back of the line can't hear what I'm saying and they miss out and that kind of thing. So we do like to just sort of have a rough idea on who we're going to have. And then in December, you have a lot of fun events planned at the park. Right. Uh, we have our annual um, Santa event mm -hmm. at Timberland Park yep. um, that'll be on Monday, December the 10th. Mm -hmm. This is always a very fun time for kids at yeah. Timberland Park where they get to spend some time with Santa in the Interpretive Center yeah. at Timberland. They'll do a little craft as well, mm -hmm. so that'll be fun as well. That'll be fun for them to do. And yeah. there's usually a story involved. And we mm -hmm. try to make it just a fun experience for those toddler and, and preschool age kids. Right, right. Um, and then also that month, um, you guys have a kind of winter solstice program. Right. Am I saying that right? <laughs> That's right, winter, yeah. yeah. Winter um, solstice. Yeah. yeah, so on the day of the winter solstice, yeah. you have several events planned to kind of mark the occasion in the sure, season sure. at Timberland Park. So working outdoors, it's always something that, you know, if you work inside all the time, you kind of miss the passing of the seasons because you're just if you're inside uh, yes yeah, yes right you do. so <laughs> so uh i like to try to draw people outside especially when we're at those moments whether it be the the spring or i'm sorry the the yeah the spring or the autumnal equinox or the summer and winter solstices i like to bring people out there just so that they can experience that day that it that's the official change of the seasons um so the winter solstice is on uh friday december 21st and of course most of you probably know that is the day that's the shortest day of the year we have the least amount of sunlight than any other day <laughs> of the year so spend as much of that sunlight time as you can out e at Timberland Park. exactly <laughs> right so we have um a guided hike first thing in the morning at 9 a.m uh, it'll be a similar sort of thing. It won't be really a strenuous hike. It'll be just something to get people out there. We'll talk about the changing of the seasons and what that means for the plants and animals that live out at Timberland. Um, 
but again, it'll be mile, mile and a half over, relatively even ground. I say relatively because nothing's completely even. Nothing's in, flat out in there in Middle Tennessee. <laughs> right. So, um, so that'll be at 9 a.m. And then we're also doing something that we haven't done out there yet um, at 2 p.m. And that we're going to make honeycomb candles. Um, I'm really excited about this, um, and the reason why we're doing candle making that day is because traditionally, you know, it being the shortest time, you know, shortest day of the year, um, people would light candles, and they, you know, in an attempt to like ward away evil spirits and that kind of thing, you know, back, you know, hundred years ago or more. Um, but we're going to continue that tradition just to some for us, give you something to take home, and you know light up your house with it sure. on that well, darkest day of the year. you can imagine around this time of year, you know, in times from um, long ago, yeah. people probably would start amping up their candle making For and sure. things like this when they're, you know, longer, darker spells and yeah. they need more, you know, light. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. so, so it uh, makes perfect that, sense, perfect yeah, craft right. for the winter solstice. And along with that, we'll talk about some of like the life history of bees and that sort of thing and why they're important to us. So we'll, we'll cover the a science -y sort of side to things as well. <laughs> um, but uh, the difference about that program is there is a small cost. It's $2 a person, uh, and that's just to basically cover the cost of materials. So, yeah. But uh, that'll be a really exciting program, and it's not one we've done out there yet, and pre-registration is strictly required for that one just makes because sense. we have a certain amount of materials. Absolutely makes sense. And then yeah. you wrap up the weekend mm -hmm. with a uh, something I think that was very popular the first time you it did was, it, yeah. um, a full moon hike mm -hmm. on Saturday, December 22nd. Right. So on the 22nd, that's the first full moon of the, of the year, uh, and it's the you know, right after the solstice, and so the day will be real short, and so, you know, by 4.30 or, or, or a little bit after, that's sunset, so the hike will be shortly thereafter. Um, and basically, it is what it, uh, what it, you know, what it says. It's a, it's a full moon hike. We'll be hiking out at the park at a time that normally no one's allowed out there at night. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, it's a, just a, it's a totally different sort of feel to the place. Um, all your nocturnal animals come out, at least those that aren't hi hibernating at that point. Um, and uh, so you will maybe hear an owl, we may see an armadillo, that's as we saw several mm -hmm. armadillos last time we did this. Um, uh, so anyway, we might see any number of things or hear a number of things. Uh, and so it was very popular last time, so we're looking forward to continuing that. It won't be very long. It'll probably be between half a mile to a mile. Things got to go a little bit slower since it's dark out. Right. Um, I do encourage people to bring a flashlight with them, that sort of thing. Absolutely. Um, you know, just to have have some light to, to see by when you're underneath the canopy of the trees. So. Exactly. Yeah. Um, well, it sounds like you guys have... I mean, a lot of great stuff to look forward to at Timberland mm -hmm. Park. Yeah. Um, I know it's going to be a, just a spectacular season for yes. you. Um, yes. Um, I have to admit, I am pretty jealous about what your <laughs> office view looks like for these next couple of months compared to mine. It's great, yeah. Um, but... Um, for people who want to come out to Timberland Park, join us at any time. If you're interested in any of the programs that we've talked about today, please feel free to go online to our website at wcparksandrec.com. Um, from the homepage, just click on the Facilities and Parks tab, select Timberland Park. You'll see all of the information for that uh, park, uh, operating hours, directions, mm -hmm. um, a brochure pamphlet, as well as a page for upcoming events, how to register for these programs and for that one candle making um, program how you can pay your two dollar participation fee to be involved in that activity as right. well. Um, wonderful, wonderful things to celebrate the season sure. with. Um, and if you have specific questions about Timberland Park, we do have an email address for the park. You can email Timberland Park at williamson-tn.org um, and you know ask any questions you may have before coming out to the park for a visit. We'd love to hear from you and yeah. see you at Timberland Park. Absolutely. Come Michael, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Y'all stay tuned. When we come back, we'll be talking about our group fitness program with group fitness coordinator, Bob Vogelpool. Cows by Gail Bunton Haddock. Resting triangled into the ground with upjetting ridges and cavernous hollows down swooping, hulking living landscapes, breathing, cud chewing, 
nonchalantly flicking their tails, quiet and velvet-eyed, peaceful, peace, full. Welcome back to It's About You. For the second half of our show, we're going to spend some time with our group fitness coordinator, Bob Vogelpool. Williamson County Parks and Recreation has a truly remarkable group fitness and wellness program. And as the temperatures start to drop, we know lots of you will be looking for ways to bring your workout indoors. Well, look no further. Bob is here today to talk about several of our wonderful fitness programs and a few new things to look forward to in the coming months. Bob, thanks for joining us today. Great to be here. Always love talking about the group fitness program because <clears throat> uh, they're honestly, it's like the motto for the department. There is something for everyone. If you are looking for a way to, to, to get exercise or put fitness into your daily schedule or routine, I guarantee there is something that we have that will fit in to what you are looking to do. We have over 300 classes a week. We reach about 15,000 participants a month. You can start a class at 5.30 in the morning and go all the way up till 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. You can come all day long. We've got varieties, five different formats, but uh, yes, if you want to exercise, there's, Come see there's us. something for there's, you to do, yes, sure in is. one of our facilities. Um, there's so many different components to our group fitness program and, our, and, the, and the wellness program in general that we operate through the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department. And we'll talk about several of them today. Um, mm -hmm. But please know that complete information about all of these different types of fitness and wellness programs is available through our website. Again, that's yep. wcparksandrec.com. Mm -hmm. You can view different schedules per facility, times of day, styles. Of class, all kinds of things for people to take into. Um, but we're going to jump in today with just talking about some of these different programs and some sure. of the things you've got coming up over the next um, <clears throat> couple of weeks. Um, we're going to start off today talking about indoor cycling. Okay. This is a program that Williamson County Parks and Recreation has done for years now. It is pretty much mainstream wellness um, mm -hmm. now. Um, but there's some very exciting things happening with the indoor cycling program that you guys mm -hmm. are doing. Yeah. <clears throat> the neat thing is it's, it's cold outside. The, the cold winds are coming. And uh, we want to see you inside with us. So we've got 47 different type of spin classes at our five main facilities. Um, if you just like to cycle... Come on in. We've got great instructors that will will spend an hour with you just cycling, doing all kinds of different uh, jumps, etc. But for me personally, I love the different the other different formats that we do offer. We have something that you can do total body. So we have our cycle and kettlebell. So you'll get on the bike, get a good ride, um, take a step out, get total body workout with uh, all the different size kettlebells we have. We also have different strength. Um, classes where you can use dumbbells, barbells, and then we, we even jump into TRX. So all these formats are to get a total body workout for those people that love to spin. So you still mm -hmm. get that great lower body workout, great um, cardio, cardio but, but we're also getting that upper body and that strength that everybody needs. Um, and then we've also added, so it's been about a year, we've had our cycle and row, mm -hmm. which is some of our most popular cycle classes. Again, get in the cycle, but you get off the bike, you row, get in a total body workout. So very, very popular classes. Uh, the time has come. It's, it's chilly outside. You see the sweatshirts. Yep. So it's time to cycle inside, and we've got uh, classes. Our cycle classes also start at 530 in the morning, and our last cycle class starts at 7 o'clock at night. So And they're throughout the day. Absolutely. And then for individuals who think that they might not be able to cycle if they mm -hmm. have a <clears throat> knee issue mm -hmm. or something like that, we added a wonderful adaptive cycling program to our schedule a couple of months ago. Yep. So um, again, all of our instructors are really trained on safety first. So we modify classes based on individual needs. Again, um, you don't have to be an expert cyclist. So um, part of our program is we've added uh, numerous senior classes. So again, those are the same instructors that teach our regular cycle classes, 
but they've learned to modify them. And again, you also, when you go in a cycle class, let the instructor know you're new, so they'll kind of take you under the wings. And also, um, you ride at your, your, your own leisure. So it's really up to you how much you want to put into it. And, and slowly but surely, work with the instructor, you'll build up to where, where you meet the goals that you're looking to meet. And then there's also the aqua cycling program in Franklin. Absolutely. So if you want another variety and you want to be in the water, so we do have four different um, aqua cycle classes at Franklin, which are very popular. And because they've done so well, we're going out purchasing more bikes. And hopefully by January 1st, we will be offering the same program at Longview. Excellent. So very excited about that. Uh, very exciting news. Love to see that program grow. Another very popular program that operates within our group fitness schedule um, is <clears throat> yoga. You know, it's, it's kind of a mainstay of mm -hmm. a fitness program, um, but it's just such a well-developed discipline. People mm -hmm. love it for numerous reasons, and we have a variety of different styles of yoga classes, yeah. um, but I know you have a new class coming up as well that's called Yoga for Weight Loss. Yeah, um, we've had a lot of questions about that, so people ask, Yoga for Weight Loss, what is that? It's a, it's a great format, so we have two instructors. So we offer it at Nolensville Franklin, and at Longview. So we have Nancy Stevens and Angie Richardson. And the format is they, it's, it's almost like one-in-one -one training because it's, it's very small group oriented. And you start off by, by, first of all, time management, talking about plans for what you want to accomplish through exercise and nutrition. So you will actually work through a nutrition program, look at healthy diets, um, proper eating, and then incorporate that with exercise, and we're using the yoga format. So um, for people that don't think that yoga can't be strenuous and really develop your body, you haven't tried yoga. Yeah. So it's a, it's a combination of yoga exercises, different formats, with the proper nutritional. Um, you'll actually write a diet plan, and then um, you will share those throughout the, the sessions and then look to see at the end, we, we have a little ceremony to see um, kind of... Did you meet your yeah, goals? Yeah, did you meet your objectives? goals? And we have some, yep, yeah. just, so this just is a little really celebration. This is an excellent wellness-based program. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be covering a lot of aspects of wellness. And mm -hmm. it's starting in January, yep. right at the first of the new year. So if people are really looking to make a commitment to their wellness in the new year, Yoga for Weight Loss might be the program for you. Uh, like Bob said, we're going to be starting it at three locations mm -hmm. in Franklin, um, the Longview Recreation Center in Spring yep. Hill, and also in Nolansville. Um, each of these is about a four-week sessional program. Yeah, they're four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. Four so. to six weeks. Um, advanced registration is required. Yep. Um, they do have specific meeting times. The program is $96. Mm -hmm. Registration will be available online starting probably mid-November yes. yep, sure for will. these programs. Um, so if you're interested in them, go online, wcparksandrec.com. From that homepage, click the um, health and fitness tab, yep. and then you'll be able to get additional information about the program. There again, it's called Yoga for Weight Loss, mm -hmm. starting the first of January in 2019, um, and a, an exceptional program that we look forward to adding to our roster in Franklin, Longview, and Nolansville. Absolutely. Great. Let's talk about some other great stuff. You mentioned that this Yoga for Weight Loss program was similar to some small group training. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a wonderful small group training program that we're operating in two of our facilities now. Yeah, we're very excited because originally it was just at our Nolensville facility. We've expanded it to our Longview Spring Hill. And uh, at Nolensville, it's four days a week. It's two days a week at Longview. Again, if you want a total body workout, so just some of the different things that you will, you will incorporate with the small group trainings. We have weights, we have dumbbells, we have kettlebells, we have resistant bands, um, we have rowers, you do sprints, we've got all types of boxes for different jump exercises, um, jump roping. So it is a combination of strength, cardio, flexibility, all tied into an hour, and again, if you ever haven't, if you haven't seen this before, it starts at seven o'clock in the morning at Nolensville, mm -hmm. seven to eight, and you'll hear a lot of hooping and hollering because it's a lot of individuals motivating each other um, as they go throughout the circuits, and it really becomes a little family. But a lot of our people that have started the small group training two years ago at Nolensville are still doing it, mm -hmm. and they're doing it two to three times a week. 
And um, it's a great adaptive workout. Absolutely. It really is. Um, and the great thing about this small group training program, it's walk-in based. There's yep. no advanced registration for it. It's $15 per class. Um, and it's like what you said, you know, it's a great way to really get a full body workout. It's a wonderful team mm -hmm. environment. I feel mm -hmm. like everyone's always in these classes together. Um, yeah. But it's that small group to where you're still getting, you know, a lot of individual attention and being able to really form bonds to um, have a camaraderie within your class, but then set and meet goals um, on a routine basis. Absolutely. A lot of our individuals that do it um, see personal trainers and they supplement the time in between training with the small group training. Mm -hmm. Wonderful tool. Um, and then the last little bit that we'll talk about today is mm -hmm. um, well, our two basic mainstay pr programs, um, the group fitness classes and personal training. Okay. If we want to talk about personal training. Yeah. Um, we can hit that first. So we're very fortunate. We have up to 20 personal trainers uh, with WCPR at our, our six main facilities. And uh, each of these individuals bring just various strengths. A lot of them have different degrees, really cover the whole spectrum. A lot of them are ex, a lot of ex-athletes mm -hmm. that uh, just wanted to continue into, in that athletic field. So um, really, you can go on our website We've got bios of each of our trainers, and it's real easy to look to see who is that trainer that hooks up with what you're looking for. And it's very easy to set up a training. So on the website, you can, again, look at the bios, call our facilities, set up a consultation. Um, when you call the facility, we will actually get a slip, and we, we like to return a phone call within 24 hours. And, and again, we set up a consultation, and from there, set up goals, and then set up the individual trainings. But it's, it's a real easy process. Again, go on our website, look at the bios, look at our trainers, and give us a call. Yeah, and we just have a couple of minutes left in the show, okay. but while we're on the topic of the website, mm -hmm. you can also check out all of our group fitness schedules from the website. Yep. We have some great interactive module schedules. Mm -hmm. You can see the complete list of group fitness programs at all six of our main locations. Yep. Um, and one thing I do have to say about the group fitness schedules, and you might want to just mention this real quickly, the variety in them is astounding. It really is. Again, we talked at the beginning, 300 different classes a week. Um, when you go on to an individual facility, click on the class that you think you might like. And once you click on, it will give you a description of the class. It will give instructor names. And again, if you have any questions from there, you can call the facility. And uh, most of our front, front people are trained on um, who our instructors are, what the class is about, and can answer questions. Or you can call me personally and I'll walk you through uh, what, what the class is all about. That is. And then there's still other components about the fitness and wellness program that we didn't mm -hmm. get into a lot of detail today, yeah. like health coaching, bar fitness, tons of options. Again, if uh -huh. you are interested in any of our fitness or wellness options through the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department, Pro, Parks and Recreation Department, <laughs> go on our website, wcparksandrec.com. You can find tons of information there as well as mm -hmm. contact information for our group fitness coordinator, Bob, or our assistant coordinator, Sarah Foster. Mm -hmm. um, contact information for the facilities. If you just want to call and speak with a receptionist, we'd be happy to help you and Absolutely. we welcome you to any of our programs or facilities at any time. Absolutely. We look forward to having you there. So. <laughs> Well, Bob, I want to thank you for joining us today. It was always a pleasure to talk to you. Great. It was great to be here. Thank you. All right. Well, in wrapping up today, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to today's show. If you'd like more information about our group fitness program or our upcoming activities at Timberland Park or any other facility operated by the Williamson County Parks and Recreation Department, you can get more information at wcparksandrec.com. Uh, while you're there, you can also check out our upcoming holiday closures and amended facility schedules for Veterans Day. Uh, we will have amended hours Sunday, November the 11th and Monday, November the 12th. Be sure to check those out. You can also follow us on our social media platforms through um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube for additional information about department events. We also have specific Facebook pages for Timberland Park and all of our group fitness programs if you would like information about those as well. Thanks, you guys, for joining us today. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, Williamson County, it's all about you.